in part one and two of my vehicle garage conversion, I covered building a bench and insulating the walls. Now in this episode I'm going to cover the installation of engine lifting gear that is purpose built for a confined space like this. In the restoration of my hand-built sports car, I used a conventional portable hoist because I needed to lift the engine out of a donor car. I also had sufficient room to move the hoist about when dropping the engine into my car. But with the new garage, I'm, I'm absolutely focusing on space saving and design layout, so everything has to be at hand to restore my car and motorbikes. Well, this takes considerable time to think ahead and I didn't get it right first time, but I'm fairly sure we have the best solution here for lifting the engine out and even lifting the car if need be. I decided to use a sturdy box section metal beam from which to hang an engine chain hoist. A few rough sketches and guesses at how robust the beam needs to be was all that was needed and the first task was to find a way of supporting the beam. Chasing into the concrete walls was too time consuming and fiddly, so I simply used 3 by 2 softwood verticals laminated together to give a hefty vertical beam structure that was screwed into the wall. Very easy. The most time consuming part was cutting through my raised floor that gives my car good access from underneath. Well, it took longer to think the solution out than to build it. I then guessed I would need some 4x2 box section steel and was able to get a 2.5 metre standard length to span my walls. Forgive me for mixing Imperial with Metric. I've been doing this since 1971 when Metric first came into Britain. Uh, some of us still refer to 4x2 and 8x4 wood. <laughs> Now this beam is plenty sturdy enough, although I haven't actually checked how heavy this diesel engine is. Um, I'm guessing it's under half a ton. Well, it must be well under half a ton because my sports car is uh, about 750 kg. Well, heavy is the answer. And I'm more concerned about the strength of the tiny chain used in the hoist mechanism. The idea is that the hoist will attach to a sliding sleeve fabricated out of larger box section steel uh, that I cut into with my grinder and also some flat bar. Uh, dimensions are crucial as my garage has a low roof so a bit of thought went into this as well. Uh, the chain hoist is a foot between hooks or in new currency 300 millimeter. I got a local steel fabricator to weld up my bits of metal. What a lovely job. You should see my welding. I ain't gonna risk it. And the part just neatly slides into place with about an inch clearance to the roof. It was all rocket science basically. Anybody into lifting car engines in and out of tight spaces knows everything has to be set up just right. So the theory is I move the car wheels backwards and forwards and the beam sleeve across to tweak the lifting action. Of course the mounting chains on the engine block is the final thing to do uh, and that will take some uh, trial and error. Uh, and I'll save that for the next episode of my sports car restoration. Now that's a saga that will leave your mouth gaping open. I've come to realise do everything you can yourself to avoid disaster. My exception is welding. The remaining task here is to degrease the metal key it up and apply some red oxide paint. Job done.